An autonomous robot mower that can program its mowing areas all by itself includes a 32 volt motor that offers superior cut quality, even has true edge technology capable of overlapping its boundary areas, thus eliminating the need for weed whacking. Sounds like anybody could use it. I'm excited to get today's sponsored video of the Ecovacs GOAT A2500. Let's get to the unboxing. Now, if you're not familiar with robot mowing technology, this might seem too good to be true. The robot mows pre-programmed areas of your lawn, and then if the robot runs low on battery, it takes itself back to the charger, charges itself, then returns to where it left off just to complete the task. The A2500 comes as a complete kit. We have the RTK antenna, we've got the charging station, and of course, we have the GOAT. Let's talk about what Ecovacs is promising us about the A2500. Now, as far as cutting width goes, 13 inches complete with a dual cutting head running at 32 volts, offering a superior cut quality. The A2500 cuts between 1.2 and 3.5 inches, cuts about 4,300 square feet per running hour. The edge close proximity identifies boundary areas, so whether or not they're barriers, passable areas, or they'll be identified as cliffs. Now here's what I learned about the edge close proximity. It ultimately allows the machine to get as close to the barriers as possible to allow for minimal weed whacking or for flat passable areas it actually straddles the boundary so you don't even have to weed whack. Now the battery life is up to 64 minutes per charge, charging time takes around 45 minutes, and the programmable lawn size is about 5 eighths of an acre, a little over 27,000 square feet. Now, as far as installation goes, according to the instructions, all we need to do is find a flat open area and create or create a flat open area for the machine to land on. Uh, from my lessons I've had here, I like to be about three to five feet off of the base of any home. And then we're going to find an area for the RTK that has open line of sight to the sky. Then we're going to download the actual app, which is a QR code on the machine to make it very simple for us. So for me, the most exciting part about this product is it is fully autonomous. So for a lot of you guys, beginners out there, a little bit scared or concerned, technology is just too much, too difficult to map. They're marketing the A2500 as self mapping. So I've got it here. We're going to put it in enhanced mode, hit the enter button. It's going to connect and it should start mapping itself. So let's let it do its thing. Staged. Please wait. Here we go. Just want to show you, I'm literally doing absolutely nothing. And the machine, it's just doing its thing. So right now, I'm gonna, just going to do the front yard, have it auto map. It was saying, check this out. This is so crazy. This is the first time I've ever seen a robot mower really hug that edge. I'm really excited to see how well it's going to mow after this. Be quick, I'm getting live feedback off of my phone on how it's doing, check this out. That only took a couple of minutes. And I will say for me mapping, I kind of had this love-hate relationship with it. I like the control, but at the same point, I'm typically having to come back out and redo a couple of things. So this is great. Robot does it how it wants it to. I set my endpoint, hit the got it button, and there we are, we're ready to roll. Let's start the mow. And one thing I want you to pay attention to is how quiet this mower is. We're less than, I think, 56 decibels, which is just incredible. There is so much to like about this design. The charging ports are up here and they're very large, so you're not gonna have a problem charging. Now we've got the vision optic system plus the LiDAR on the front. Uh, it is a 32 volt, which means we should get some rapid charging. Now design wise, it's got one of my favorite designs where it's got the very simple caster wheels. We've got the dual cutting head on it. Now this is gonna handle a 27 degree slope. It's got these textured tires, which means it's gonna turn really, really well. One thing I like about the design is carrying and washing and carrying a machine. It's got a very convenient handle, makes it very easy to lift up here, but also design wise on the back, the way that they've got it, 
is you can lift it up and it can sit vertically. This is one of the very few designs I've seen that allows you to do this. Now I've had the Ecovacs A2500 going on about two and a half, three weeks now. And I want to go over my experience with the mower. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice is the Ecovacs A2500 mows in traditional lawn patterns. The navigation mapping is very accurate. Now, I mapped this one time, to be clear, and the robot mapped itself autonomously, and I haven't made any changes to the map. Now, I've been running the mower several times per day, and so far, it's been mostly a hands-off experience. To be clear, on the second mow, the mower got stuck turning around the border of my flower beds. I put the mower back in the boundary, and it hasn't done it since, which tells me the automated mapping and the obstacle avoidance is functioning as they're marketing it. Now, as far as the obstacle avoidance goes, what I've learned about the A2500 is, as the name suggests, it's a LiDAR enhanced RTK navigation. The obstacle avoidance is a combination of LiDAR and v and VSLAM. So let's break this down into simpler terms. The VSLAM using the cameras on the front to identify the differences in colors, shapes, textures, etc. Or in other words, build its own map of what it actually sees. And then on the other side, the LiDAR is a remote sensing technology that uses light to measure distances to objects. Uh, which, like the VSLAM, it creates a detailed map of the lawn and the surrounding objects. Now, having both in one machine allows for superior obstacle avoidance, and it also features their edge close proximity. Now, as far as the application goes, uh, the application is super easy to use. Now, via the app, you can set multiple schedules, set height, cut, mow angles. You can also edit the map, set multiple zones, uh, pathways from one zone to another, and even set no-go zones for areas of spaces within a zone you don't want mode. Now my favorite feature is the live video mode that allows you to see through the front camera of the A2500. You can remote control the A2500 around your yard remotely while using the camera, take a photo or even record a short video while using your phone. It's an incredibly fun feature. And overall, the app is intuitive and packed with useful features. Now, as far as cut quality goes, you can tell by my lot, it does a great job at maintaining a clean, even cut. And the A2500 was built with a 32 volt energetic platform, which basically means it has more power and blade spin that's faster than the competing brands, which means it can handle the thickest of grasses. So for those of you guys with very thick lawns, this is a fantastic option. Now, the one thing I like to remind you guys at home, these types of machines, they were built for maintenance mowing, which means that they don't bag grass. It's not like a traditional mower. We're going to chop the entire head off and then throw all of that in the trash. It's meant to take small confetti type pieces of grass, put it back into the soil, better for decomposition and much healthier for the lawn. As far as noise level goes, it's surprisingly quiet. It's much quieter than a traditional mower, even quieter than cars passing by your house. May a great for early morning or even evening mowing. So is the Ecovax GOAT A2500 worth it? Here's my final verdict and my favorite part of the video going over the pros and the cons. Absolutely got excellent mapping and navigation. I mean, it maps itself still allows you to customize the map to meet all of your need. There's absolutely no need for a perimeter wire. Uh, the RTK and the base station setup was super easy and I feel like anybody can do it technologically sound or not. Now the 32 volt energetic platform, it's a solid addition. It'll cut all grass types with the additional power. But keep in mind, as I said before, these mowers were meant to be mulching mowers and I use mine about four to six days per week. So I cut a tiny amount off the top, but the best part is, is not putting the clippings into the trash can, not to mention it's extremely healthy for the lawn. Now, I didn't talk about this much, but the A2500 has got a very strong battery life. Charges fast, usually within about 45 minutes is advertised. And I found that the majority of these robot mowers take about an hour and a half to two hours. So now I was able to cut my lawn three times in a row before needing to charge battery, which got me to about the 4,200 square feet as they're advertising. I find that most of these robot mowers, uh, they take about an hour and a half to two hours to charge, which should be very frustrating. Now, as far as the cons go, uh, the mower, it does not mow at night. The LiDAR and the VSLAM obstacle avoidance, they don't work without a sufficient amount of sunlight. And the counter argument is this, with the fast charging capabilities, the 13 inch deck, the mower can still mow about 27,000 square feet plus per day, which from my experience is better than most. Now, as far as some of the app features go, I really wish there was a cross cut feature, meaning the mower runs two programs one after another that crisscross each other. 
I feel like it increases the mo quality. Um, currently, you can still do that, but after the end of this mo, I have to go into the app. I have to change the mo direction to complete that task. The other thing I like to see different is the daily changes of the mo pattern. Currently, the changes in the mo pattern are programmable uh, weekly. But either way, the majority of these issues can be fixed with the simple uh, app update. So it wouldn't surprise me if these were uh, if these options were available in the near future. So what do you think? <laughs> Would you get the Ecovac Goat A2500 for your lawn? Uh, as for the usual guys, I'll post a link of the mower in the description of the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up down in the comments down below. You know, I'd love to help you guys out. Until next time, guys, pest in lawn, Ginger. We're slaying lawns.